Hello my friends, my name is Lan and welcome to my home and garden. For today's video, I am going to give you an update of my backyard garden. I usually do this every month and show you how my backyard and also my front yard garden doing each month. And now it's already September of 2023 and you can still see a lot of vibrant color. As you can see, the big blooms of dahlias, that is a really beautiful bloom. So I want to show you a different areas of my backyard that's still blooming at this time. If this is your first visit to my channel, this side of my garden, this is the rose garden. As you can see, there's still a lot of this beautiful vibrant color. These are the tea hybrid roses and this yellow plants are the sunflowers and actually I have two kinds of sunflowers that planted on this side and I have this lighter one which is the smaller and then this beautiful bright yellow this are the bigger version which is i have this tallest one is actually 14 feet tall and i have a combination of different plants on this side and i'm going to show that to you which are the hydrangeas i have all the summer crush hydrangea that's planted as my background to this side this white pergola is the entrance of my rose garden i still have all the climbing roses and I still have a lot of flower buds. And here, this is actually the vine of the wisteria. I have this tall one. Here is the sunflower. Behind me is a vibrant color of all the summer crush hydrangea. And also the white one, the white bloom actually, are the china roses. This side of my garden is the center of my backyard. And as you can see, there's still a lot of beautiful orange flowers of the trumpet vine. They actually started to bloom from July and hopefully it will end until end of this month, September. As you can see, they are almost done, like this one here. I have to deadhead them actually. And let me show you the other flowers next to them that are actually blooming, which are the Luna hibiscus. This is a slope garden area and I have the secret garden on this side and then also to this other pathway is towards the vegetable garden area and also you'll see the flowering garden as well and then you can go towards the rose garden area on that side. So with this one is actually the upper level of the backyard and I want to show you this beautiful hibiscus that I planted here. I actually just add them. Uh, two months ago and still blooming, they have these big petals in here that's about three inches big for each petals. And as you can see, this one bloom is actually bigger than my hand. And they last for about two days and they still have some flower buds in here. So I have also the light pink on the side. And one more dark red on this side. This is the lower part of the slope garden area. And here I still have all these beautiful hydrangeas. They still have some colors. Some of them are drying already. And I still have these upright roses in the side. And this is again my flowering garden area. And as you can see, there's a lot of dahlias that blooming at this time. I'm going to give you a quick look on how all these big blooms are doing and they are actually adding a lot of beauty on this side. So again, this is the flowering cut garden. As you can see, all that blue color blooms are the lace cap hydrangea and I have few remaining blooms on this side and majority of them because they are done with their season, they're already done blooming. So I want to show you this different kind of dahlias that I had planted in this flowering cut garden area and this is actually the cactus dahlias and I have this big bloom it's actually bigger than my hand and they are really really big and beautiful this is actually the flower bud and it will turn to this when they bloom I actually have a lot of plants to change a lot of movement of few of the plants because I actually did a mistake on planting some plants like the daily leaf uh, which is uh, smaller if I'm talking about height they are smaller than the dahlias and also some of the plants that I added there like the rubica I want to actually move them a little bit 
on the front side and then move the taller plant on the back. So I have the blue lace cap hydrangea on the very back which is I use them as a border between my secret garden and also the flowering garden and I want to slowly redo this side of the flowering cut garden so that it will be look neater and organized and so right now there's only like few flowers remaining on this side but there's a lot of plant a perennial plant that I added in here I actually have a different kind of videos of each individual plant and you'll see that watch that and you will enjoy it and here again is the flowering cut garden area still have some beauty that remaining in this area you can see the background vine that's actually the orange bloom of the trumpet vine okay my friends so this side of my garden I actually redo this area I remove some of the old plants which is the crocosmia and also the irises I change them and put some rose cone flowers and also the black eye susan I also put all the snapdragon which is they're already done blooming and alternate again the black eye susan with the rose cone flowers in here and it really really looks better than before because I have an overgrown crocus me on this side and I actually did this project for almost like half day just to remove all the bulbs to make sure that they're out in this area and they had, don't have to grow again it might be by next year there's still a few that's gonna pop up but it's okay it's just so easy to pull them out and remove them so again this is the updated garden on this side of my vegetable garden and it looks so beautiful I cannot wait for them uh, to give me more bushy look for next year So this is just a quick view of my secret garden look like and a lot of the perennial plants are already done blooming as you can see it's all green now but i still have this blue lace cap hydrangeas some of them are already drying up it turns pink and this is the new one the new bloom they are blue and that's how it look like now they're not as colorful as last month and a lot of this azalea already done blooming i have hellebores and i have this upright flux still in their beautiful colors but that's actually starting to dry up and here you'll you'll see the center of my garden and that is the flower of the trumpet vine let me just give you a quick close-up look and a lot of them again at this month they're almost done welcome to the upper side garden in the backyard this is still all my tall upright garden flocks and they're still in bloom and again it's september so hopefully i can still keep them until first week of october and some of them actually they are actually starting to drop and drying some of their petals like this one and some of them they're still in their flower buds and this side garden i have a row of this white and pink upright flocks these are the very scented flocks and i really enjoy them to have them i'm so happy that i put them as a row and this is again the updated view of my side garden for september of 2023 
this is my shade garden area and still you can check all these pink blooms and I have also some purple blooms these are my propagation of the lace cap hydrangea and I still have all the hostas in the pots are still going good and majority of my plants they're about to dry up because it's getting colder already in my location so they're going back to dormant they are a perennial plant it means they come back year after year and the only one that stays in same color for the entire year are this purple foliage over here these are the alum roots and then also some of these plants on the pots these are the primroses and that two plants there stay evergreen and they are part of the category of the evergreen plant and then the rest that you'll see all of this that you're looking right now they're going back to dormant they're gonna dry up their leaves and then next year they will start to bloom again and they come back all these bushes over here all these leaves is gonna be dropping and all I'm gonna see for winter time is just like a naked branches there's no more leaves that's gonna stay on that including this pink blooms of the lace cap hydrangeas same thing with all these ferns so all this green that you're looking all this vibrant color they're gonna be gone and all we have to see is just dirt which is not good so here on this big pot I have the hardy geranium and also this bamboo so they, they will stay green but the rest around them they will go back to dormant with the full view of my center garden this is what it looked like and I still have some blooms on that side the white blooms and purple blooms are actually the upright flocks and they're still doing good and the lawn is still green and hopefully it will still dark green like that because it's adding actually a good view in my backyard so this is again what the update of my backyard and some of the blooms of the luna hibiscus and some animal plant like the zinnia Okay, my friends, so that's the update of my backyard for the September 2023 garden tour. And for next month, there's going to be some changes in my backyard because I have some plan to move some of the plant and the other area of my garden. And also, you're not going to see all of this vibrant color, this greenery over here. they all going back to dormant because the weather is changing. So that's going to be a big change. So continue to watch my video and also hit the notification bell so you will be updated to all my videos and i'll see you in my next one you take care